We have our next comic, uh, this guy is funny. Uh, so keep it going, give him a huge round of applause for Dobra. Dave Dobra, give him a round of applause. Every time we come, it's great. Steve Harvey was a great man. Oh, but in history, so years ago, I was actually with a woman that worked at the tax office. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so she pretty much took all my money on and off the clock. Oh. Yeah. So really sad part about the whole situation. She only screwed me while she was at work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How's it make you feel to know that the first three hours a day at work was going to the government? Yeah, it's sad, but it's it's fun to think about. I still try to have a positive atmosphere at work. I try to be positive to my coworkers. I try to say good things to them. I'm not even trying to blow smoke up like people. I'm just being honest. I went to this one lady like, so are you gonna be CEO anytime soon? And she's just like, oh, no, you told me you're crazy. I'm not gonna be CEO. <laughs> I'm like, why not? You know all the scheduling, you do all the stuff, you take all the notes, you send all the minutes, you're like, the secretary knows what everything that you're doing. Did you just call me a secretary? I'm like, uh, yeah, that word is demeaning. I'm like, really? Like Secretary of State? That's, that's the meaning. Secretary of Defense? That's the meaning? I'm going to have to go with the fact that you didn't think you could do the job and I did would be more demeaning. That's just my personal opinion on this conversation. But let's look at the definition of the word secretary. The assistant that administrates. It's, they just switched the words around. And all of a sudden, that's now the new thing. It's, I don't get it. I think it's our worded. <laughs> Just apparently we got to be careful about the words we say. I can no longer say the R word because my sister will cut my throat because she had an R word. And so now <laughs> I can't say the R word anymore. <laughs> Even though when I was 13, guess what the only, she never called me James. What did she call me? She called me the R word. That's right. Okay. But I'm like, well, maybe. Can I say it because you call me that now? Because I guess technically, what? No, no, it doesn't work like that. You gotta be careful about the words you say. You refer to them the thing that they look like, you can be accused of mispronouncing somebody because gender is a social construct. Yes, constructed 6,000 years ago. And yours changes like every six minutes. <laughs> L, uh, L G B T Q R P sometimes Y apostrophe S. It's like an algebraic sentence, you know. Square parentheses pi. I'm pretty sure I just created the next one. Mark my words. You heard it here, folks. That pi will be somewhere in the alphabet soup, and you're hearing it first. Um, I don't know where I'm at on time. Did we see the light pop up? No, you're good. I got two minutes. It just goes so fast. No, the speech, you're like, you're right on five minutes when you're practicing, and then it's like, no, it's over. Oh my goodness. Jokes about class. Said jokes about Chris? Class, class. I think you need your class. I have no idea what he was saying. Can we have, do we have a translator in the house? Any translators to help me out with this? Huh? Plus. Plus, I have no idea what that is. I'm like, uh, I got notes here. Let's check my notes. All right, I did that. <laughs> I did that one. Secretary check. R word check. Oh, oh, the fact that I drove here in a Camaro. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Why is it that when so I got it for my teenager? I'm like either the best or worst dad ever. I don't know. One or the other. Uh, but when he drives, I'm like, dude, you look so cool in that Camaro. I was like, yeah, I know, right? I got a Camaro, 16 years old, driving a Camaro. I'm pretty awesome. But when I drive, it's like, oh, midlife crisis. Yeah. So sad. Are you chasing a 20-year-old? Is that what you're doing now? I'm like, well, if I was, how is that any different from my 16-year-old? Really? It's just like, no matter how old you are, you're chasing 20-year-olds. It's just what's going to happen. 